filmmaking is one of these things where you're not a filmmaker, and then if you make a film and it receives any kind of notice, you're a filmmaker. You know, so you weren't, and then you, and then you are. So to get accepted into Sundance was was very exciting. It also introduced me to the world of film festivals, uh, independent filmmaking, and short films. You know, I wasn't aware of the fact that you know, festivals around the world have short films, short films uh, divisions, and because uh, the Kiss got into the the Berlin International Film Festival, which was very exciting. Uh, we didn't go, a friend of mine went and saw it. But again, just to realize and understand that there was this whole world that existed that opened up upon getting into Sundance. Uh, so that prior to that I had written screenplays and was mainly known as a playwright. And then suddenly I was a filmmaker. And which meant that you know you're, you were afforded a little more credibility when you went after monies. Uh, people took you a little more seriously. And it, it forced you also to think, well, I have to make my next film. You know, I'd written screenplays, I've been hired to write things, and I discovered that I'm not someone who can write and has a lot of ideas. I come up with ideas every once in a while. And those ideas I find I want to be mine. I don't want to write them and, sh and spend all my creative energy and then ultimately give them to somebody or have them say they don't want to make the film. You know, which happened a couple times, and I thought, well, I put. I put my heart and soul into it and it didn't get made or it was taken away from me or I didn't have any kind of artistic input. And that's just a given. You know, I'm not whining about it. That's just the way it is. What I love about being in theater is that basically the playwright is the person you respect the most. It's almost just the opposite of filmmaking. Those screenwriters have more respect now, especially if you're one of the tops. Uh, but in theater, the word is respected, and you as a playwright are, are respected. And, and so that's so important to the, for me, to the creative process, knowing that I can write down whatever I want down, and that it will go up. You know? and, if you're, and if you're playing in terms of, I feel personally, like I play for keeps in terms of my work and what I write. You know, this is what I wake up in the morning for. Independent films, appeared to offer that one way of doing things where I could do it the way I wanted to. And being f very aware, not th at the time I wasn't really aware, but you know, you do an independent film, uh, you know, you're, you're very much sort of on your own. You, know, you don't have any kind of built-in support system, sort of track for the film, nothing's pre-sold, you just do it. But that to me was so much more gratifying. So to make your own films meant that I could do exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, with the people I wanted it to do to do it with, at my own pace and with my own vision, you know. Of course, the, the drawback, and it's a major one, is that well, maybe no one wants your film. You know, maybe no one wants to distribute it. That's and that's a big one. But for me, ultimately, I, I'd much rather have, you know, sort of total control of what I do, and then and then we'll see what happens. You know. Um, in some form or fashion, especially now, you know, I know I'll be able to get it out there and have it seen. And that's, that's what I want, you know, I, I don't do theater, and I, and I didn't make independent films to make money, and uh, it's not about that, you know, that's, it's, it's not about that, it's sort of, you know, I'm, I come from a personal background, which always feels that, uh, not that there's an obligation to one's parents, but that one should ultimately be respectful of your parents and listen, you know. Uh, I know that's really, really difficult. You know, I had a very difficult time with myself, my own parents. I come from a very typical kind of Asian American background or Asian background where education was everything. And uh, you can dabble in the arts, but when it comes to a career, you do something serious. And so it was difficult, but I would always say, you know, and I'm asked about this, that, you know, listen, you have to listen to what your parents have said. You also have to begin to develop, and this should start as early on as you can, especially when you get to college, to sort of develop a sense of uh, personal voice, personal point of view on the world. It means you have to little more, take things a little more seriously in terms of thinking, okay, this is what I like to do, this is what I love to do, this is what my parents would like me to do, and it, and it makes sense. Uh, but also begin to think in terms of this, this creative aspect to your, your being. 
look around you, begin to sort of talk to other folks who are ahead of you, who have graduated, who have done it, so that your sort of picture of the through line, your sense of knowledge of the through line of that career is filled in more. It isn't just some kind of impractical dream or something fuzzy, because if you're going to base a kind of stake your future career on something like acting or playwriting measured against a good solid career, let's say as a teacher or, a, or some kind of person involved in uh, information technology, just open a lawyer. You know, those things have pathways. So they shouldn't be sort of like looked at and kind of gone like, well, I don't want to do that. I want to do this other thing. This other thing that I haven't researched, that I haven't thought about, that's just this pie in the sky, uh, that's not a good way to make a decision. And you don't have to be in that place. You should do your homework ahead of time and continually sort of be thinking about how good am I? Am I getting better? How good is my skill? Talk to people and always try to get as much learning and as much knowledge and mentorship as you can along this other avenue that you want to explore. Such that when it comes time and you graduate, when it comes time to at least have to make a decision for the near future, when it comes time when you have to sit down with your parents and have a real discussion about what you want to do, it is one that has been thought about. You know, it doesn't make it easier, it doesn't make it right, but certainly it's a decision that's more informed. Uh, and if you choose to enter into the arts, I think, I think anyone would tell you, it's, in, in all honesty, it's really, really, really hard. Uh, that said, you know, it's also tremendously rewarding. So you have to balance those things out. That would be my advice.